Welcome to another edition of Women Lead TV. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host today, and we have a special guest today. I want to introduce Lenka Holman, and Lenka has been in the financial services industry for over 14 years. She is now changing gears a little bit, but expanding her offerings and really getting into working with women entrepreneurs. And I want you to explain what your big transition is and what you're trying to do now after 14 years expertise as an, and now a strategist in? Strategist in helping a woman-led business, specifically women-led, is the, is the main focus because there has always seemed to be a either-or world. Mm -hmm. If you've ever noticed, it seems like the, um, shall we say, the, the benchmarks or the, the stereotypes are the woo-woo who I, uh, I sit and I do meditation 24 hours a day and think big thoughts and uh, money isn't an object versus the bulldog woman mm -hmm. who is going to make it in a man's world. And it's always been this, this conflict for me personally mm -hmm. in that we have to pick success financially versus, hey, I'm doing good in the world. And, and so, you think it's a choice for women? I don't think it has to be. Uh -huh. However, stereotypically, we have always seemed to gravitate towards one and the other. What if, what if we could that have both? Mm -hmm. What if you could have advisors in the spiritual world or in your business world uh -huh. and pair them along with the bean counters I'm one of those, so don't don't worry. That's not negative. Um, we're really just paying attention. Are we making a a progress financially? Because mm -hmm. if you have the best possible focus, the save the world on any plane or in any area. Mm -hmm. What good is it if you go out of business? Okay, I got like 10,000 questions, which is great. So, so am, am I getting that it's kind of like the practical meets spiritual, yeah. but giving both sides a really equal kind of like leverage, right? And what it really means is that what a woman-owned business is going to do is they are going to get the advisors that keep them on track in both areas. Mm -hmm. Whether it's an attorney who helps put um, documents together mm -hmm. so that the focus and the vision of the business is on track, or whether it is someone who is saying, hey, what we're doing is we don't want to lose this uh, altruistic piece of it or this, this uh, um, goal for the greater world. I'm going to interrogate you now. So I, I, I get the concept. So help me understand just for very simplistic place. Mm -hmm. What is it you're, I mean, what do people doing with you? I mean, what are you advising? Yes. Are you, and what it is, something? I'm coming along, no, there, there's, okay. what it is, is I'm coming alongside of business owners uh -huh. and saying, look, great, these are your financial goals. What advisors or pieces in, are you putting in place to keep you on track? What's your measuring mm -hmm. stick? Okay. And how can we do that? Oh. And how can we do that while balancing whatever the other goals are. Sometimes it's to make sure that the household is still run. You know, the, the idea of being able to run your own business has always been attractive to women all the way back to the 70s when women took over the real estate world because women wanted the opportunity to work on their schedule Plus, they change communities when they started doing that's that. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's totally right. Good. They really make a difference in the world. Oh, so, so a question for you: How did you come up with this? I mean, where was your kind of like tipping point of saying this aha? You know, we all have that when we start a business, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're down that path. I can tell you're very passionate about it, which is good. Well, here's the here's the reality of it. It when you have to step back when something forces you, and I'm going to give a plug to Sue Talks. Oh, please go forward. I and knew do you that. wouldn't have any I trouble. I love that, that you're I doing knew that. that. Okay, take time. We got we got all the time I, you need. No, I just, just got that. another ten minutes, guys. No, and you are um, one of our Sue Talk presenters. Past right. one. Yes. Awesome. You know, when you have the opportunity, and it doesn't actually have to be a Sue Talks process, but when you have the opportunity to step back and say, "Why am I who I am?" you kind of take a look at the pieces that make you who you are, mm -hmm. that help you get passionate about the day job. 
And when you go a step back, you're like, hey, wait a minute, I have that in what I do, but I see so many others who don't. They feel yeah. like they have to choose and do what one at expense of the other. Yeah. And by doing both, by actually sitting down and saying, where am I and why did I get to this place? Talking in front of women and saying, hey, there might be a way to blend. We can have not an either or world, but an and. Yes. I love and. I am making money. And I'm doing something good. So I want you to share something personal because I do have a little inside intelligence about you. Your your heart and soul here is that you are a mom. You have young, well, they're not so young anymore. Not you so have young anymore. adult daughters. Mm -hmm. But t tell a little bit about this This journey is also part of you being a mom and, mm -hmm. and experiencing what you see with yeah. other mothers, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. talk a little bit about that because I think you are a poster child for what you're looking to do with other women, which is incredible. Right. Well, when I started my, my new industry, it was really so that I could take control of my time, so that I could actually be at home to pick them up from school instead of having them to shuffle off to daycare to the very last second. And they were young. And I wanted to be able to be the Girl Scout leader, go on the field trips and do all of that. And having a industry that allowed me the opportunity to make my schedule and still pay the bills nice was amazing <laughs> right and then i saw hey why do i have to just say this is my life with the kids versus this is my life at work i started blending them i started dragging my daughters into uncomfortable situations I, I experienced one of you those. You saw that, yeah. And I love that about you. I was like, why don't more moms do this? And then they got to Share learn. the story, though. Well, yeah. So one of the first uh, uh, big, big, big events that, that CWI did, I, said, I told my girls, you're at the uh, counter and you are checking people in for this uh, mega, mega mixer deal. <laughs> you brought them and said, help out. Sit down. You're doing this. <laughs> okay. Totally did. Hand out gift bags. Okay. Whatever we're doing. Deers in the head. Are you Complete yeah. deer in the headlights. <laughs> I said, great. Everybody's got their gift bags and they're checked in. Now, there's nothing left for you to do except for walk in that room. Packed so up, smart. what, a thousand women it felt like. I don't know how many there were there. And talk to them. And if you want me to drive you home, you're going to tell me <laughs> who you liked talking to you and what you thought was interesting. Now stop for a second. Did you? What did your daughter say when you said go walk around the ballroom and visit? And I want to give you a visual. Like they were tabletops. There were people yeah, there selling were. products, selling services, and you had them walk around by themselves, yep. not together. Am I right? Correct. What was the response and what did they learn from it? I thought it was an. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm serious. They've grown up do it. so well, but what, what did you feel was the feedback you got that first time you sent them through there? What the heck did you do? <laughs> um, no, they, they really did. They were a deer in the headlights, but after they got over the initial shock and the terror. Shock and awe, yeah. Um, they actually said, okay, so I wasn't killed by an axe murderer. This was a safe <laughs> environment. And there were a lot of different things. And I think that that's the only thing that I really remember. There were a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So it kind of expanded what they thought they might look at, mm -hmm. things that they hadn't considered before. And that was the only, that was my only intent. Look, don't be afraid, give it a shot, talk to some people. Did you give them any techniques of what to do? Absolutely just not. Turn them loose. Go, do. I remember them walking out of the ballroom. I think it was, oh gosh, I can't it was remember which Moya, one. Yeah. yeah, that was a while ago. But a at any rate, they, they, they looked better off, but they looked fried when they terrified, came out. Terrified, terrified, oh. yeah. So they lived. And tell me, you know, with this, these services you're looking to do, like, uh, how are, are you putting yourself out in the community? Are you speaking? I mean, what's I'm, kind of your I'm big doing vision for this? quite a bit more public speaking. Okay. And what that's and you're very doing. Good at it, by thank the way. You, thank you. And what I'm doing is I'm speaking on specific topics as to how to blend some of these mm -hmm. things. And then once a group of individuals sees what's options, sometimes they come and, and talk to me one on one, say, mm -hmm. okay, I want to take this further. But sometimes it just sparks an idea that, that allows somebody to go another step. Do you have some idea of the topics you're going to be talking on? 
Yeah, um, one of them is the very basic of keeping your measurements, knowing your measurements. And then the others are really about, okay, how do you bring um, quality of life mm -hmm. into your, your future, into your business? Those are the types of things, because it, it's a blend, it's not an either or. So we're out of time, but leave something with us for our audience of inspirational based on what you see. I'm putting you on the spot. Give us something, we're gonna end on it. Well, and we're gonna have you back. It's kind of easy. Invest your time, talents, treasures in a life worth living. I just want to stop the presses on that one. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's another Women Lead TV series. Thank you, Leica, for being our guest today. And we'll be back with another series soon.